Howdy folks, Buck here, back with the next one in line, the Peruvian Mystery Vampire Bayara. Alright, I'm already on the water, as you know from the last video, we're there, we're ready to go for this guy. Um, let's jump over and take a look at the, what we had to do to get set up for this. Um, because I don't really like what I had to do, but we'll see how it works. Um, we'll get over there now, take a look at it. Alright, Peruvian Mystery Vampire Bayara, after catching all the shark tooth fish, in the lake, you determine that only by ours are affected by the curse, and you receive the bait from the vampire by ours. During this time, the locals are afraid to go out on the water in their boats, but prevent the return in the dark, the evening fogs, the red stuff we were looking at, and in the moonlight, when the fish go hunting, no, no. All right, so, travel to Malcolm Up. Got it. Clip the silicon finger. Got it. There's where the issue came in. And let's go over there and take a look at what I did. All right, I had this pole. Um, I had no idea that we were going to be needing a, a, a casting or spinning rod. Uh, for this. Okay, so they gave us this. Um, in order to get this on, you got to have more weight to it or it's not going to cast at all. So you can't just go with a dead offset hook and the bait. Now, so unfortunately for me, I always carry, you know, some rigs, but they were only 70 pound rigs. Um, I must have been fishing 70 pound gear last time I used them. So I got 70 pound gear here. Uh, why did this go three way rig 97? What happened here? Oh, maybe that was my issue. It was too big, but not too small. Let me go back here for a second. I thought for sure I only had 70 pound. Oh no, it is 97 pound. All right, I'm a little overboard on that one, but the string will break. All right. We're all right then. I thought for sure that I was at 70 pound and I had 90, 80, 83 pound gear and I only had 70 pound here. All right, I'm good. Don't panic, Buck. Take it easy. Okay, we're set up. We're ready to go. Um, let's hit the map. We're actually in the back out there. Let's go fishing. Well, no, we're not. We moved over here to the, to the village to get the fingers. All right, well, let's get in the boat. Um, now, monster. Where do I want to fight him? Closed quarters. Uh, no, I don't want to be back in the lagoon. This guy's 132 pounds. So, we fight him in the lagoon. We're going to have all them trees in there. And uh, that's not good for boat. All right, we're going to fight him. We're going to fight him out here. All right, guys, I'm going to go get positioned, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just looked at that. We've got three of them. That's Probably only one each hole. I only saw three of these things. So, that, maybe we are going to end up back there in the lagoon. Now we'll see what happens. Usually with these monster fish, you don't have to be much of a fisherman to get hooked up. Um, they just, they hit you. So I'm really not worried about what kind of retrieve I work. Okay, folks, well, get back to the get hooked up. Alrighty, we're on. What? Huh. 
Huh. Leader was bit. We're gonna have to rethink this setup, Buck. I'll be back. Okay, folks. <clears throat> New way around this one. Steel leader that they gave us. Skull jig head. Ounce and a half. We're set up. Now we'll go after him. Try this again. I'm a little close now, but oh well. We'll pull him into see here. See if we see if we can get hooked up again. I'll be back. Okay, we're back on. Let's see if we can do any better this time, Buck. Lag here on the system. Be a lot of people playing the Halloween event. There, Buck. Lose two of them. Come on now. Take you home and put you away. Oh, dear, it's got a little weight to it. Would be nice. I hope I'll get on the board with this one. Got three of these to catch. Fight him too long, Buck. Got Steel Leader on there now. I don't think he's fighting for that. Alright guys, I'll be back when I get this critter tuckered out. Not that big. Well, he ain't ready. Jeez, oh man. 26 pounds, all that. <laughs> Alrighty, that's one of the three. You know what that is. It's picture time for Buck. Oh. Work box. And woo. We'll keep this one. Alright. Two more to go, folks. I'll get set up, get latched on to the next one. I'll be back. 
Okay, number two. Hooked up. Well, seems to be about the same size. It doesn't seem to be any lighter. It doesn't seem to be any heavier either at the moment. Alright folks, I'll be back. I'm getting close. Alright, number two, he was smaller, 93 pounder. I'll get my picture of him. I'll be back. Alright guys, that's all done. Paperwork's done. Well, I guess it would only be fitting. Seems how I love to fish the lagoon. And it is going to be tough to land one of these guys in there. So, that being said, that sounds like a challenge to Buck. I think we're going to go hit the lagoon. We're going to see if we can yank one up out of there. I'll be back so I can get in there. Well, I, how long have I been running? 11 minutes. Not too long. Right. Yep, there he is. Alright, let's go in here and get him. This ought to be fun. This ought to be a lot of fun. Alrighty. Oh boy. Oh, go get him, Buck. I'll be back on hookup. Okay, folks, we hooked up on him. Lift and drop. That's it, lift and drop off the bottom. Got it. Normally don't fish by our on lift and drop. Not really a bottom feeder. But I couldn't get nothing out of here. I kept getting little bumps here and there when I let my lure get a little bit deep. And that kind of, I mean, it's not deep back here. Don't get me wrong there. I mean, it's not very deep, but still, bottom's a bottom. This guy seems pretty little. So hopefully it won't take us too long to get him in. Alright, I'll be back when I get him in. Oh, now he wants to climb the, up over there on the bank. Oh, I knew we were going to get him. Don't get me in them trees there, Buckwheat. You want that? Oh, this boat. He stays there crashing on the bank. I'll get, I'll get close to him. <laughs> uh oh, Buck, look out, computer! Don't you dare make me lose this fish. My Buck, your ass ain't turned around. You're not in them trees. Oh, he's going back in. Now oh, we got him in there, though. Alright, yank me back out of the way from the tree. Out of here. Put it
middle. Like you around that boy. He's getting smarter. Look at you now. Oh, we almost had him on the branch. Got him, you. Yes, indeed. 118. He's the middle guy. All right. Well, that'll complete the thing. Bring the captured monsters to the Phantom Long Canoe at night. While we're here, and we're right beside it. All right, guys. You know the deal here. Extra time for Buck. I'll be right back. Keep them. All right, guys. All right. Well, that takes care of that mission. How are we doing? I think we did pretty good for money wise, Buck. We made all of our money that we needed to for this trip. So, with that being said, we can't hit the wheels anymore because we already hit nothing to do down. Alright, Buck, probably get us to the dock while I take care of the particulars. There we are, we're lined up for the dock. Alright. Okay, folks, that'll do it for this one. We can mark this one off the list. Done got them all. Alright, we're off for the next one. I'll get these pumped up on YouTube and I'll be back. We're off to Bolivia. Remember this guy, right? All right. Hey, we'll see you later. Never give up that fight. I've been forgetting. Remember we all live downstream. Take it easy.